Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. I'm a bit croaky. I've had a really rough cold this week. Um, gone the gamut from sore throat to absolutely streaming nose and stuffed sinuses to um, what I've got now, which is mainly just a cough uh, with achy muscles in between. But it's been less than a week, so... Um, I'm doing pretty well and I'm pretty confident it's not COVID, although it's impossible to get tests these days because it's um, cleared up or started to clear up so well. Whereas my experience with a number of bouts of COVID has been that um, they tended to last a good deal longer. Uh, anyway, I'm still slightly blocked up and I thought I would just mention before hitting the MS aromatherapy associates which i've talked about <clears throat> a lot on this channel because i love their bath oils that's really the only product i use from their range although they've got very full range now some people love their body lotions and they have shower gels and uh, all sorts of oils and unguents they make very nice little stocking filler presents as well i mean not like these full sizes which are jolly expensive but they tend to do little kind of filled crackers and Christmas ornaments with tiny sample sizes for um for Christmas which I haven't seen what they're doing this year but they invariably do it so I thought I'd mention them because they're quite good stocking filler and specifically um this oil bath oil which I don't use very often because it is um support for breathing bath and shower oil um which I've just enjoyed a bath with now um eucalyptus tea tree and peppermint to um, maintain good breathing and clear the sinuses. So it's quite a nice one to have on hand. I know some people, my mother, for example, um, uses oils in a kind of burner in her bedroom at night <clears throat> when she's very congested and uh, swears by that. I just like a good hot bath with uh, a good stinky oil. Um, to clear the sinuses and that's the one I use. So um, with that little diversion, Hermes, I really, really liked the look of their fall collection. I was extremely tempted by the eye palette. I haven't bought any of their eyeshadows up till now. Well, I still haven't, um, spoiler alert. Uh, they're ridiculously expensive for quite a small amount of beautifully presented shadow um, quads, but they don't look like quads. They're in the circle. I mean, the packaging um, of Hermes is, I'd say, superior to any of the luxury brands, say, for uh, Guerlain, which also packages really, really well. Um, what I liked about the full collection was that First of all, it was, in my view, colour appropriate for the autumn, which some of the collections, <coughs> Chanel, um, were questionable. Um, but I also thought it was just really well integrated. You could see how everything fitted together. So um, although I didn't buy the eye palette, I'm wearing the nail polish. There was a blue in the eye palette. There was a brown there was a cream, I can't remember what the other one was, but you could see how it all fitted together, which I really like. I mean, to me, that's the point of a seasonal collection. Um, so I ended up <clears throat> getting two nail polishes uh, because I really, really like the colours. Um, although whether I needed two more nail polishes, I do have quite a few Hermes nail polishes. Not as many as Chanel, but too many because they are a ridiculous price. I think they're now £48. So um, seriously more expensive than Chanel. Um, just under £50 for nail polish. Can I justify it? No, probably not. Um, I've got to stop. Here's the blue. Um, what was it actually called? Let's get my glasses on. Blue Agate. 
Now you can see it's a cream. Um, most of the Hermes polishes have been creams. They did a seasonal release, I think last year, it might have been the year before, which had two metallics. But as far as I know, they're the only non creams. And of course, creams, I think, are an easier, easier formula to deliver. Um, Hermes is famous for colour, specifically in its le leathers. I mean, beautiful ranges. Things aren't just blue or green or yellow. They're a huge range. Um, and there's an element of that in their nail polishes, particularly their reds and pinks. They have done a couple of blues. What I liked about this was the kind of dusky grey to me, really, rather than green undertone of the blue I felt it was muted enough almost to work as a kind of neutral which I don't think of for blue I looked in my collection this morning and I couldn't see anything that was the same there's nothing that was a dupe the most similar in sort of tone but you can see much much lighter um is quite an old one from Chanel uh called Blue Boy which was one of, I think, three different blues, um, cocoa blue, something else that was a darker blue and this one. Um, and I do, I used to wear this a lot. I haven't worn it for a bit. Um, and, and kind of reminds me this one of this, but you can see much, much lighter. Um, now it's on the nails. And I do have to say, there's only two coats on, um, it's pretty good on this hand. Two coats on this hand. I don't know if you can see. There's a bit of transparency under there. The first coat was really sheer and patchy. Um, much more liquidy than I would expect from a cream nail polish that is costing nearly £50. Um, now, yeah, I think you can see it a bit on the thumb as well. I mean, you're more aware of it when you're putting it on. And it'll be interesting to see how this one wears because the other one I did wear for nearly a week with the Hermes top coat, which is excellent. And it did last and it didn't chip and uh, it was pretty good. I'm kind of fearing this one won't last as well. It only went on yesterday um, because, as I say, it was a bit thin and watery Um so disappointing the um and that's not been true of most of the um emma's polishes that i've got now the other one there were only two and i bought both of them of course <laughs> um what's this one called this is called the bronze so um bronze green and it is looking extremely greeny, khaki in the viewfinder. Um, it looks much more brown in real life. Uh, I did think on the nails, you definitely got the, the green shift uh, to a very dark khaki. Um, and again, I haven't got anything precisely the same. I did pull out from Chanel um, Khaki Brown, uh, Khaki Brun, which you would think would be the same. Again, you can see much, well, that's interesting. Um, like that, looks much lighter. Full on, much more similar. I'm not going to use them side by side. This is a really old one again, and the polishes do generally get thinner as they get older the consistency of this as i say was excellent um it went on very well uh you know even after one coat it looked pretty good and um, two was absolutely fine with a top coat and i was doing a fair bit of keyboard and um washing up and things it lasted um nearly a week which is about as good as it gets for me so that was a good formula as you would expect for the price I bought one lipstick, um, kind of against my better judgment. I've got quite a few Emma's lipsticks. They're really nice. Um, and I love the seasonal packaging. If truth be told, 
I wanted a seasonal packaging. They're now into kind of half and half on that mid bit. And I like how it kind of echoes the collection with those colours. Very well thought out. Um, this one, uh, what's it called? Glasses again. Honestly, my eyes. Um, Rouge Napa. So, um, a, a leather red. And it looks quite daunting in the bullet. I think, well, that's not going to look good on many people. Certainly not me. But this is a new formula to me, um, which is called Matte Briant. So, it's a matte, but it's a light matte. Is it Matte Briant or Matte? Leger, sorry, matte leger, so a light matte. And you can see it goes on really pretty kind of rosy colour um, rather than the very um, solid brown. And um, I haven't had one of these, I don't think. I was looking at their, at my two drawers full. I've got a lot of their Briance which um, are really, really sheer. Um, quite a few of their balms, which are very expensive, but very nice lip balms. I've got um, a couple of satins and a couple of mattes. Their mattes are very solid. Um, but this is quite nice and uh, a good kind of autumnal compromise if you don't wear brown on the lips terribly well, which I don't. It's Definitely got that kind of rosy berry hue um, that's very season appropriate. And uh, the Emma's lipsticks are very comfortable to wear. So that's what I ended up getting from the collection. Um, still slightly regret not having the palette, but I knew I wouldn't wear it enough to justify. I mean, blue... I like the colour story, but I'm not going to wear blue eyeshadow very often or very much. And I didn't really need more um, greeny browns. So, um, yeah, it's a very overpriced beauty range. I think it's allowing people to buy into the Hermes um, lifestyle dream, dream um, at a relatively affordable price but in truth a price that is ridiculous for a makeup product whereas although they're expensive you know their handbags are not that ridiculous for handmade goods that last generations but you know that's the way luxury rolls isn't it that's a whole different story um hope you're all doing well um I always love to read your comments. Thank you for the, to those of you who regularly leave them to me. And some of you have made some suggestions for videos, which I've made a note of very much on hand when I've finished the kind of seasonal visit, um, videos, visits, videos that are a little behind hand at the moment. Anyway, I hope you have a really good week and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.